in case anyone's interested in my collection and how it's been growing and changing. Um, I think I'm up to like 11 tractors. Um, here's a few of them up here. I got my uh, 1984 uh, Lawn Chief 1036. It's uh, pretty much one of a kind in this area. Back there's my 1970 Wheel Horse Raider 10. Rare because they only made it for three years. My 1964 Sears Custom 6. Pretty cool. My two Ropers. I got a uh, 16 horse V-Twin uh, Roper here. And then I got a 12 horse single cylinder Roper over there. That one being the first machine that I ever got. Also got it for free. And back behind it, not currently running due to a uh, carburetor issue, is the Redneck Racer, Redneck Racer version 2 with its sweet pinstripe, cool velocity stack. That thing's just nasty, scary running that thing. This camera gets a little blurry in the dark. Let's see if I can bring some light into the uh, back area here. Oh, there we go. There, not so blurry. That thing is cool. I got that thing for $150. eBay's a wonderful place. Oh, and then uh. That's my newest ATV, newest slash oldest. It's a, a 94 Yamaha Tinder, Timberwolf 250. It's got the wheelbase of a uh, shopping cart. It's a great little bike though. It sees lots of mud. That's my Cub Cadet 1720 Hydro. Does the majority of the mowing here when my zero turn's not being used. And back here, if I can get back here to a light, excuse me, Mandy. There's the 427. Almost put all that together. I gotta put the water pump on the front, alternator, fuel pump's just loose. Transmission and bell housing are on. Awesome. I got my shift pattern pretty much uh, squared away. I got it all adjusted like it should be. Which don't let people fool you. That's one of the easiest things I've ever done. First, second, wait, actually, yeah, third, fourth. So you got first, second, third, fourth. And then reverse is there. Reverse, first, second, third, fourth. Pretty cool. So, pretty cool. A lot of stuff going on here. I still got the farm all and I still got the Chalmers. They're in the basement. So, they'll never be going nowhere, in case someone's wondering. 